like the you know the, the, the conversation to be quite entirely. I'll like, just go straight into my first question. Maybe that will help. What prompted the idea of the American Indian Navy, and how did it be commercialized? So the come of, 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 of how the Biennale started uh, was out of sheer anguish for this. I, was, um, I, I started a hotel in Marrakesh uh, in 2002. I bought a, a, a tumble down uh, building. Um, I had no intention of, 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 of um, ever owning a hotel. It was an accident. I'm, I'm an accidental hotel. The place of women in Nigerian art has changed in the past 37 years. Quite a number of women artists. Well, I hate to call women artists or female artists artists who happen to be women are actually coming off their own and being more professional and being just studio artists. And they are being recognized because they're pushing themselves out there. They are very sure of what their philosophies are. There are not that many of us around, but there are quite a few who are pushing themselves, pushing their arts, pushing their creativity. So yes, it is, it is a positive change. Art is an expression of um, our culture. The, the richness of our culture, I find, is um, expressed to a large degree with, our, uh, with art. Um, the symbols of our culture, the, 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 the language of, of, of us as, as a people, you know, it's, it's captured best, to my mind, with art. Art is a creation of the being, you know, so in everything I do, I, I just express myself, I express how I feel on that particular day, how I'm feeling about a particular situation, or you know, just how the world is moving. I go and express myself. If it's writing, great. If it's painting, fantastic. Right now it's painting, you know, and I really feel that women are starting to kind of redefine what it means to be a woman. Nigeria has a very rich art history has a very rich literary history, as you've already mentioned. We have um, some very good schools of art, starting with the first school of art um, in, in Zaria, that was Amandabello University, that opened its doors to an art department um, in 19, 1958. I think the first class started in 1958. Well, I think uh, in my experience uh, in, in that space, I found that there are a lot of women in tech. Um, especially in new media space, I mean, especially in virtual reality. When I did uh, my uh, workshop in, in, uh, in, in, in Cape Town with uh, Electric South, there were majorly, uh, there were a lot of women, you know, in, in the space, and a lot of them came from other African countries as well. So I don't, I don't want to believe that narrative you know that there are not a lot of women in tech. I feel that there are a lot of women in tech at this point. People are exploring, it's a free space, uh, and people are just really exploring. Yeah, it's not about whether women are great artists or not. It's more of people feel um, women artists, when they get married, they're all too busy with the family, with the children, so there isn't much continuity. But um, with the art scene now, like I said earlier, there's been a change and women are up there and as famous as the male artists as well. You know, when you talk about putting together this ecosystem of people across the culture space, so not just yourself, and using the Vietnam to bring outsiders in to work Now that's something that many of us here in the culture sector and the art sector are consistently thinking about doing. What I found was very fascinating and I think the three things that I absolutely love is first the art, Second, the amount and the depth, richness of conversations that we had with people who are in the art scene and the desire to change and drive things forward, I find that so energizing and motivating. It's absolutely an experience. My feeling about art and gender is that there are hardly any cultural innovators 
who are more powerful than women. I think historically women have been at the forefront of harboring, embracing and safeguarding our culture. And if you look at the innovators in the art space today in Nigeria, you'd find probably that 70% of them are women, from the artists to the galleries, the curators, um, those who are the movers and shakers in the art space. It's not just about beauty. The arts are about uh, all, all, you know, so much more. And I, I really understood the political, um, the, the political messages that arts can give and the confidence that arts can give. And the, um, the key point is that the arts are a safe space to discuss quite difficult ideas through. As women, although we say that we have become modern, in quotes, when really not completely modern because um, the, the first position for a parent is for after you finish school is how the child is going to get married, how you're going to have a job and they feel that the art space is not something that they understand completely and uh, so it's, it's a cultural thing that is going to change with time I believe.